I'm Tim. I'm a third generation Ontario chicken farmer and we're here on my farm today. Our family's been in the chicken business since 1958 when my grandfather first started. Although this is not the family farm that I grew up on, we have been here for 32 years. It's where we raised our kids and our son has now bought an operation of his own, so he is the fourth generation. It's our plan that our farm here will be passed on to the next generation as well. And I don't think our situation is really all that unique when you consider that over 90% of the farms in Canada are family-run operations. We certainly have a connection to, to the local area. It's not about just your farm having that connection, but it's also about a connection to your community. We do have a responsibility as farmers, uh, as far as our environment is concerned, and we, we take that very seriously. The animal care program that we have at COC is extremely important for farmers. It gives farmers a guideline for them to follow to make sure that animals were properly taken care of on farm. Supply management is able to help with the animal care program because we have that ability to regulate farmers. The animal care program is mandatory and it's actually enforced by annual audits. Code of Practice is the basis that COC uses to develop its animal care program. Individuals that are involved in the development of the code include veterinarians, includes farmers, researchers, and animal care experts. The industry stays up to date with best practices through the CFC, funding projects through the Canadian Poultry Research Council. Nearly half of the funds that go towards CPRC have gone towards poultry health and antibiotic alternatives for farmers. We use technology within our facilities much more than we ever used to. Uh, the computer systems that we have available in our barns, they control the ventilation, uh, humidity levels, measure the amount of feed that goes in on a daily basis. We know how much water the birds consume. We automatically have monitoring devices that will trigger alarms that go back to our cell phones and our home phones or wherever you want it to go. Now mind you, we're never far from the farm anyway, so when those alarms do go off, we, we respond immediately. Although we have a tremendous amount of technology at our fingertips, we still have to be in our barns, which uh, occurs several times a day where we're walking through. We're, we're checking on bird health. We want to make sure the birds look healthy. Are they feathering properly? Do they have enough feed, water? Is the ventilation good? Is the litter condition what it should be? So we're monitoring all that stuff on a daily basis. I think what I like the most about chicken farming is that uh, it's an ever-changing industry. And what excites me about it is that the technology that's available to us today and how we can improve things on farm, but also how quickly our industry responds to consumer needs. It's uh, very rewarding to know that you're producing safe, high-quality chicken that's helping to feed Canadians.